Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, it is Francesco here. So in today's video what we're going to be doing is diving into the top 10 writing applications of 2018. So in this video what we're going to be doing is specifically looking at writing applications designed to help you with your scripts, your novels or even your playwrights that you're working on. Now these writing applications will include some of the note takers but they will not act as note takers so just take that in mind. There is a separate video for note takers and that will be in the description below. So guys just before we dive into today's video I just wanted to thank our sponsor which is Senap. Senap are a subscription service for Mac users allowing them access to hundreds of applications under one suite and a set monthly rate. Now you can check out my full review in the description below and you can also download it there too. A huge thanks to Setup for sponsoring this week on the Keep Productive YouTube channel. So guys, without further ado, let's dive into a few of these applications. So guys, the first application on my list is Scrivener and it's available on Mac, PC and iOS and it comes at a bit of a premium. It's used by award-winning novelists like Neil Cross, Michael Marshall Smith, and Karen Travis, and Scrivener 3, the latest update, has changed the way people organize their layout in terms of the outline, chapters, and even progress behind the book. There's a whole host of strong text formatting abilities in this application, and even tidy import and export functionality. And Scrivener is used by a huge amount of heavy working professionals, especially in the writing area. Just a note before we move on to the second one, there will be an article below which will outline all of these applications as well as the pricing, timestamps and information for all of your knowledge. So the second application is called Byword, that's Byword spelled B-Y word. So if you're a huge Apple lover, this is available on Mac and iOS. Byword is a favorite among Apple users, allowing you to use simple markdown editing to create stories, thoughts, and ideas. Now, Byword is more targeted towards the text editor fans out there with a full range of markdown functionality, as well as simple text formatting, theme changes, but, but it's really reasonably priced for those who are looking from, to go from hobbyist to pro in no time. The third application is one that has been growing in popularity over the last couple of years, and that is Ulysses. Again, a very Apple-centric application, Mac and iOS, and has a quite a heavy premium at about $40. But you do get a free 14 days. Now, Ulysses is probably the most beautifully designed of the writing applications, allowing you to have a distraction for experience while still having the access to functionality. Ulysses also has an advanced folder setup to help you organize the most important projects you're working on, as well as HTML exporting and lots more functionality like that. Now, Ulysses is actually available through the setup subscription, but whenever I ask people about writing applications, it always comes in people's top five. Number four is a very familiar face for those who follow the channel, and that is Bear. Bear is a note-taking application as well as a writer application too. The application has emerged in the last year. It's available on Mac and iOS, and it is free. So if you're looking to maybe not take the leap just yet, this might be the application for you. It is really easy to start using the writing abilities. You've got all the text formatting as well as the markdown. But the great thing about Bear is you've got a neat organization fruit system through hashtags, which makes it easier to organize all of your work and bring it all together at the end. Number five is called Focus Writer. This is available for PC, Linux, and Mac. There is a donation with this one too. Now, Focus Writer is one of the simplest text editors on the market, delivering a really simple writing desktop experience. Now the features that sort of make it a bit different are the daily goal setting, allowing you to set a goal at the start of your day of how many words you'd like to complete, helping you to reach towards that an eventual goal that writers always have. And the next one is called IA Writer, not AI Writer, IA Writer. And this is available on iOS, Android and Mac, and it's also coming for Windows too. It, I believe it's a one-off fee, but just check in the description below because it always changes. But it is very popular and it has been downloaded over 400,000 times in its first release year. Now, IA Writer has won the hearts of many of the hobbyists and professional writers out there as a way to really just manage your drafts and keep your writing going on a consistent basis. 
It's got some huge standout features like focus mode, night mode, and syntax highlighting, allowing you to go in more detail when you're trying to fix certain elements of your writing. The applications are pretty smooth, and if you're looking for that cross-platform experience, this might be your choice. So next on the list is Hemingway, and this is free via the web, and it provides you a pretty quick and easy access tool to check your writing. Once uploading your element of writing, or even just starting on the application, it will analyze your read time, characters counted, readability rating, and also give you the ability for simple text formatting options. Now, Hemingway is one of the most accessible tools if you're looking for a dead simple, free, no sign up tool to check your writing. Another application that might be more for the screenwriter in you, um, and especially if you are someone who is going to take it to the next level, this application, Final Draft, is used by the most famous of production companies like the likes of Universal, BBC, NBC, and many of the other popular ones too. Now, Final Draft is an award-winning piece. It's available on PC, iOS, and Mac, but when you look at the price, you'll understand that you really need to be looking to go pro before using it. A license to Final Draft is around $250 per license, so making sure that you're using it and all of the functionalities like story, timeline, and even an event plan of your script beat by beat is so valuable and important. So the final two applications are really ones that you can use to optimize your writing experience and they are Evernote. For those who don't know, Evernote is an extremely popular note-taking application available on pretty much every platform. And this application is really useful for writers as well. I know a lot of writers that put all of their notes into Evernote and start building a novel or a piece inside of Evernote and then be able to go from there, which is absolutely amazing. And this is due to it's pretty clear in terms of distraction for experience, allowing to use nice range of text editing. So that's one that has been growing in popularity. And the final option is Grammarly. And for those who don't know, you can create a new document in Grammarly and start typing away. And the great thing with Grammarly is if you're maybe not the most profound writer in the world, you can get real-time feedback on your spelling and grammatical errors. I use this all the time, mainly because it is a bit of a stress for me writing and not getting everything right. So just making sure I check all of my stuff is so important. So those were the 10 writing applications. I wanted to mention a couple of other ones that you could potentially use that are pretty notable. Now, Google Docs is one of those applications that is very popular. I use it for a lot of long form writing and find it very, very useful. Microsoft OneNote, many people are claiming this is a great writing tool because it's got the brilliant sections of pages organization, allowing you to write what you need to. The next one is Ghost, and this is a publishing platform, but has this really beautiful distraction for experience when you're typing up blog posts or pieces. And also Medium 2 is a very similar application allowing you to write up in a really beautiful sort of formatting experience, allowing you to write up as much as you like using the editing function. Also another notable one to WordPress it has started to introduce a distraction for experience where all of their sort of side mess falls away. So it becomes a lot more focused. But again, a lot of these final platforms are more for publishing too. So just take note of that. Anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's feature on the top 10 writing applications. You can check them all out in the description below with timestamps, but if you're brand new to this YouTube channel, make sure to hit subscribe. And if you wanted to check out SetApp, who have sponsored today's video, you can check out the full review in the description below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. It might become helpful for another colleague or a friend, so feel free to share it too. But without further ado, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.